What's up guys, welcome back. Patreon request from Manuel, Young Adam Smasher from Cyberpunk. So this is the best image I can find of him. So I'm in a landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. His head is like over to the left a little bit, right? And we're in three quarter pose, yes. Right, so large eye. So we go diagonal. And then we go across and down. Right, so this is like his eyelid line that comes across here. Tear duct in here, and then the bottom eyelid just comes back this way. And then we can see that pink of the tear duct just in there. Can't see any eyelashes, but there probably should be eyelashes, should there? Maybe, maybe not. I'll just darken this up just in case, make it a little bit darker. So he's got black eyes and then a red iris, right? So just this circle that comes around. He's looking sort of off to the left-hand side. Okay. And then his pupil. Just a black sort of circle. It's kind of, we'll make it a little bit longer to make it look like he's like looking over this way. So more like an oval, sort of looking that way. So making the circle sort of skinny like this puts it on its side or makes, gives the illusion that it's on its side, which means we're not looking directly at it like he's looking that way. Do you know what I mean? Just a little trick. So he does have bottom eyelash lines. So you just do like a dash, dots and dashes just coming across here. And then the eyelashes kind of come out from that section. Like so. His eyebrow and then just above, it's pretty, it's pretty fair haired. But you can see the eyebrow just coming across this way. Okay. And then he has sort of bags underneath his eyes. He has that line that comes around his eye there. Okay. So his other eye is behind his nose, right? So the bridge of his nose comes down here. It's about eye width across. So the width of his eye will fit between the tear duct and where the nose starts. So your eye distance from here to here. And then the bridge of the nose comes out, like so, kind of curving. And then it kind of bumps in and out again, back into there. So standard sort of male nose, around like so. Nostril, like that. And you could shadow it up just on the inside a little bit. Skin for his nostril comes around like this. Down like that. So noses can be, you know, tricky enough to draw. The bridge of the nose just has like another little section lightly sort of drawn in here. Right, just suggesting shapes on the side of the nose. You don't have to draw a lot for that. So his other eye comes out from behind the nose, smaller than the other one here. You can see some eyelashes there. And then it comes down and around, back into the tear ducts in there. And then that red sort of, well, he's got like eyelashes or eyelid lines sticking off here actually. 
and then that red iris again so curves down around like that and then again we'll do a thin pupil thinner than a standard circle right to show that he's looking that way and then we have a bit of an eyelid line coming off there and our bottom eyelash area like that and then those bags underneath his eyes so his eyebrow seems to come out from this sort of black line that's on the forehead, right? So the eyebrow will be sort of here. Not really closer even. Right, and it goes down behind his forehead. So, then this nose thing comes down into here. So, you know, he's a robot, so. Or cyborg? I'm not sure. Really. Okay. Sort of a line for his top lip there. You know, that sort of section that people have on their top lip but maybe we can see another little bit of his nostril there right and then the top lip itself up down kind of like a letter m there and then his bottom lip but it's this black thing but it do so we'll go around that right but this like continues up around his face and, like up here real long and you could see sort of a bottom lip area there but it's black and then like his face comes down this way chin and then comes around and kind of disappears underneath his collar there. You might see like some lines on his cheek. And his chin there. So this side of his face sort of continues the skin part, curves around for his cheek and goes around for his eyebrow meets the eyebrow up there and then goes around his forehead that way and he does have this line this gray line going down to there very thin and another one seems to come out here even thinner than the other side so like that and then this metal stuff has like edge lines to it. Like so. Right, so he's got this big collar that like cuts off his jaw. There, and this jawbone has that black section on it on this side as well. All right. His ear then comes out from here. He's got his ear curving around. Like that. And then ear lines inside. So the easiest way to get you started on that is like a letter J. And then the bits that sort of 
come in from his face there. You can add more or less details like that. And then his skin comes up to there. And then we have all this Android stuff. So his head curves around like that, right? And roughly like the eyes are about halfway, right? So like eyes to chin is about the same as eyes to like where the top of his head would be. But we have these like skin sections. So this is like skin, right? And then like all these shapes like that. So see eyes to like where the top of the his brain or something is this and that are about the same eyes to chin just the bottom of the eye about the same as eyes to top of the head he also has that sort of gray line curving around there with these dots And then, so like, yeah, his temple comes out from like the side of his eye, side of his head, you know, cheekbones, skin lines coming across here. And then lots of these sort of robotic kind of shapes just on the back of his head. You could do it randomly, or you could try and copy it as best you can. You just want to break it up into these different sections and like just bring them all up and around and like you can add as much of this as you want now you're just adding all these angles Just keep dividing these sections up into like different parts. You color them gray, basically. And you can put dots and textures and stuff on it, like little bolts and things to make them look a bit more robotic, like that. So he's got this huge collar, like I said, right? So it goes around here, and you can just see like a little bit of his neck. There's all these cords and stuff coming down that way. Doot. And then collar scoots down this way. It's got a red line that comes down here. And a bit of like a plastic buckle or something here. Like this with straps and Stuff just like stitched on. Like that kind of a thing. And then this curves around here. And we meet this black bumping section. I don't know what it is really. It's like black plastic. Is that supposed to be there? That looks like an error in the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'll draw that in. So I think it's an error in the game. Cause it's like coming through his shoulder, you know, when like something comes through something in a video game. So we've got like stitching coming around here and then like a circle there. And just like all these texture lines there. And then this stuff just like bumps down a couple of times. Right, so that goes there and then comes back around that way. 
and then this is like another strap or something. And there's always this like stitching just sort of going around. The edges of things. Okay, so the, that collar will, well, I'll finish his shoulder. I'll finish the shoulder coming out here. Another level of stitching and edges of things. And then his plastic armor or metal armor coming out here with a red rectangular patch. There's all writing and stuff on this, but I, I won't. You can put Arasaka and feel free to add that if you want. It would take way too long for me. Like another section in there. Okay, so that's like his shoulder on that side. So there's another piece of this collar that comes around here. Right, so like a red edge. another thing like this and it's like so it's hard to explain but there's like a this big sort of round section of the collar and there's a bit of the front right so like right it's kind of like strapped together so you got like this buckly part This just like bumps down the front here. And the red edge it comes around there, so it's red, red, goes down there. And then some more necklines and things sort of in here. Curving metal and pipes and all sorts. And like the edge of the collar, sort of there. Right, and we seem to have a little clip. There, and then like a circle or something. And like folds and stitching and edge lines and everything. Like that. Mm, I think that's the best I can do. Hope it was helpful. Anyone else with specific requests like this from Emmanuel, head over to Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.